So this, uh, this piece back here that we call the back 40 um, actually extends past the beaver pond and, and that sort of thing. So we've got 141 acres, almost a full quarter section. And in a quarter section, 160 acres, there are four 40 acre sections. And so this is our back east 40, our northeast 40. And uh, this is about as wild as our, uh, as our prairie gets uh, on our land. So out front, we've got a whole bunch of uh, land that's been, uh, that's been uh, turned to hay field and has been hayed and cut every year. This back here has actually never, as far as I know, never been, never been broken. The ground's never been tilled. Um, the rocks have never been pulled out. So it's much rockier, it's much uh, rougher back here. And this big meadow we've got um, just fills with uh, goldenrod and, and all sorts of uh, native plants. So we've got all sorts of aspen and poplar stands here and uh, just a, a whole host of native plants. We've got the wild raspberries back here and all sorts of good stuff. So this is sort of a, kind of a special place on our land because it's kind of what the prairies would have looked like a very, very, very long time ago uh, without much uh, interruption from European settlers like myself. So uh, that's, uh, that's where we are now and it's, uh, it's just a beautiful spot. The animals love it. We don't come back here super often, so the animals do get a bit of sanctuary back here. Uh, the deer are uh, certainly crossing between the, the next quarter section and, and this place quite often. And there's a lot of deer beds through here in the winter and that sort of thing. So it's kind of a special spot for us back here. And uh, always quiet, always nice to just come back and listen to the birds singing and, and that sort of thing. So it's a good, it's a good spot. So it's all along this road allowance here that we want to uh, build up a bit of a shelter belt and uh, just, uh, you know, get a little more privacy from folks driving by and that sort of thing and give the wildlife a little bit more uh, privacy as well. Um, plus the sea buckthorn that we're going to be planting in here uh, produces a really nice little berry fruit uh, that the animals love. So it gives them a little bit more food as well. So that works for me. So that's what we're going to be doing all along this, uh, all along this perimeter of the, uh, of our property, uh, right at the road allowance here. So first things first, we're going to clear a little bit of grass. It's tick season. So I just want to cut it down a little bit. So I'm not tromping through it the whole way. And then we'll get uh, planting in here. One of the other things we're finally seeing here is uh, these uh, little stands of uh, poplar and aspen popping up and, and really taking off again uh, next to this uh, next to this thin line of aspens along the uh, along the road allowance. So these guys we really want to encourage uh, to grow up in here. We've got a whole bunch of stuff sort of filling in this meadow now, and we would love to just see that just thicken right up. So we want to encourage a. Uh, a, um, a stand like this, a, a, a new young stand. This is maybe four or five years worth of growth in the big trees, probably four. And uh, we want to encourage these guys to really take off. So uh, one of the things we'll do today is uh, take the loppers and just go through and thin them out. And so where we've got just way too many stacked right close to each other, pick the good one and, and, and knock out the other two and that'll encourage this to be a nice healthy stand of trees.
Okay, well thanks for uh, coming along for the tour of the back 40. Like I say, it's kind of a special spot for us back there with uh, all the deer and all the natural plants and kind of that natural prairie beauty. So uh, we'll be stocking up uh, and trimming things up back there once in a while, but uh, like I say, most of the time we just leave that place to the sanctuary of the animals and, uh, and have at her. So uh, thanks for coming along and uh, click all those buttons down below and make some comments if you got questions or uh, anything to say and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.